Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Blaze Games back again with another Pixar tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the cheat commands or the admin commands. There is a creative mode in Pixar. However, maybe there's something you just want to do without having to go all the way back out of the game into creative mode and loading it back up. So obviously having cheats on is different from creative mode. Maybe there's something you've just got to do in game because you've got stuck on something and you don't want to have to load up your creative mode map. That's why the cheats are so good. You can however go into creative mode and single player mode back and forth. When you load up creative mode you can see you can choose what character you want to load up. And then you can choose what map. So even if you have started a map on single player without creative mode, you can then use that map in creative mode, but you have to go back in and back out of it. That's why sometimes it's just easier to use the cheat commands because you can spawn stuff in without having to go back out and back in. On PC, there are some options available in creative mode that are really useful that you can do without having to type in commands. You just simply press one key, but they haven't transferred that over to the creative mode in Xbox One yet. So this guide is going to be giving you the basic lowdown on what to do and some of the most useful commands you're going to be using. If you've ever played Ark Survival Evolved, you'll know exactly how to do it because it is exactly the same commands. They use the same engine. So first off, to activate the commands, you need to press the start button. And as you can see, I've got it already activated. But what you need to do if you don't see that little admin command box up there is press LB, RB, X and Y at the same time. That brings up the admin command. From there, you can change and do all sorts of things. You can see the last command I just popped in was to change the time of day. So just like creative mode, you can do that. If you click on the other tab in creative mode, you can change the time of day, but you can do it also with a command. So maybe one of the most useful commands straight away is if you've got a problem or something's gone wrong, you may want to get away from a creature or you don't want it to kill you. See, I'm taking damage there and obviously the Fomomi is going to get me. All you have to do is type God. Press start and then click on the admin command. And as you can see, he's no longer doing damage to me, but it is still aggro. Maybe you want to do something with no creatures taking you on or going near you. Well, there's something you can do with that too. Let's aggro him again. This time we're going to type in leave me alone. God mode will give you invincibility, but it doesn't make creatures ignore you. Now be careful when you do activate leave me alone mode because it can sometimes be hard to take off. If it doesn't work the first time you enter it, just spam it a couple times. To get rid of it, the only way I know to get rid of it is to actually log out of the game and log back in. So useful for certain things, maybe you want to do some testing with some of the creatures, maybe there's something you just want to be able to do where they won't attack or harm you. If you use leave me alone, it normally also stops you from taking any sort of damage while you're in the water as well. If you spend too long underwater, obviously you will start to drown. You can see my oxygen bar on the right there has dipped and I'm about to run out. No, leave me alone, Cody. Leave me alone. There is another really useful command for that too. This time, instead of leave me alone, we're going to put infinite stats. I-N-F-I-N-I-T-E. Stats. Now, don't leave any spaces or anything like that. Just type that exact word in. Infinite stats. And press the admin command. And look at that, I'm no longer taking any sort of damage, I'm no longer losing any oxygen. Well, saying taking damage is strictly not true. You can still get killed if it's enough damage. Usually if it's damage over around 500 in arc, that's when it can actually kill you, even though you're in infinite stat mode. But small, tiny little bits of damage won't do you any damage at all, it won't kill you. It's only if something hits you in one hit with more than 500 damage, it normally makes you die. So infinite stats is really useful for making sure that you don't get killed by anything, or if you need to get from A to B with loads of stamina, it means your stamina won't run out either. All these commands are super cheaty, and they're there for people who want to muck around, play, test things, or maybe the game's been a bit glitchy and buggy. Don't forget, Pixar is early access. It has gonna have a load of bugs and issues with it, so sometimes you may have to use one of these commands because the game is broke. Probably the most other useful one after that is the ability to fly, and it's super simple, just type in fly. Like I said, these are exactly the same commands on Ark Survival Evolved. 
but I'm presuming if you're playing Pixark, you may not even have bothered ever touching Ark. So this will hopefully be new to you, and there you go, I'm flying around, and you can go pretty fast. And remember, I've got infinite stats on. Let's see what happens when I take off the fly. For taking off fly, you need to type in walk. Press resume and you should start falling. And there you go, that's how you get rid of fly mode. And you can see I killed myself because I was damaged more from that one hit. So infinite stats is really good for taking no oxygen damage and also making sure you've got plenty of stamina, but it doesn't make you invincible. The only thing that makes you invincible is god mode or leave me alone. When you die, it does reset your infinite stat state. So you may have to type that command in again. And there you go, you can see my oxygen has gone all the way up to the top on the right hand side. If you want to get rid of infinite stats, you just have to type in the same command again. So it's already in the bar. Press admin command. And you'll see I am starting to need oxygen. So that's all the things you need to do to make you invincible. Keep yourself running quickly or super long. Or if you're going underwater and you need to be able to do things. Now, maybe you want to muck around with some of the creatures in the wild. Maybe there's a creature you desperately need for something and you don't want to have to go into creative mode to do it, but you can see it right in front of you. There is a way to tame all the creatures. Go up to a creature and make sure you're aiming at it and do do tame. Now, this will be really useful early on if you've experienced some of the bugs where you can't put saddles on creatures. And there you go, do tame. All one word, and I've tamed my Phomomia. Do Tame's really good because it also gives you like the Explorer note, or it adds it to your collection. Remember your museum where you can see all your dinosaurs and creatures? Well, this is what it does. It gives you that ability and it will unlock it. I'm going to show you one more time. Go over to a creature, make sure you're aiming at it. Click into the box one more time, even if it's already still there, and then click Admin Command. And there you go, I've named my Tyrannodon. If you haven't already tamed that creature, it will go into your museum. Now when you do do tame, you can't actually ride the creature, but there is a command that you can use where you can ride it even without a saddle. So I'm going to try it on this Phomomia here. Instead of do tame, we're going to type false tame. False tame does exactly the same job, however, it means you can ride the creature without a saddle, and it doesn't mean it gets added to the museum. So if you try and do things legit, you want to collect all your creatures and put them in the museum properly, then use false tame if you just need to use a creature or there's something gone wrong. But if you're not that bothered and maybe you do want to collect all the dinosaurs using cheats, then use do tame. And as you can see, I'm riding my Phomomia now because I used the false tame command. There are some really other useful commands as well. If we take a look at my character levels, maybe you want to up your levels, maybe you want to unlock loads of engrams. You can see here I've got the engrams, but there's lots of them that I haven't unlocked as I'm still very low level. For this one, you need to type give engrams. And what that does, it unlocks every single engram in the game. And there you go, you can see they're all unlocked now. So if you want to have a little experience with the engrams, and again, like I said, maybe because you just don't want to use creative mode all the time, you can go ahead and use that cheat. I'm going to die just to show you and see if the engrams still are there when you respawn. So we're back in the game, and if we take a look at the engrams again, it is just like Ark, they do not stay with you. So that can be good if you just want to have a quick look at something to see if that engram is there. Lots of these commands also work on your dinosaurs. When you're riding your creature with a saddle or not, if we start running, you should start seeing the creature's stamina go down. It's in the top right there corner, it looks like the little lightning sign. If you type infinite stats, it applies to the creature you're riding too. And there you go, you can see my stamina's popped up. So now I can have a dinosaur that never runs out of stamina. Now remember, it will also keep the bonuses in terms of health and it won't drown. But if a bigger creature with one bite of damage actually hits it, it can take lots more damage and it can die. They are not invincible. And again, simply to remove it, just go back into the box, click on it one more time, go into admin command, 
and as you can see the stamina has been drained. Now if you type in god mode it does exactly the same thing for your creatures too, it keeps them invincible. They'll only take damage if they're drowning. As you can see I've just aggroed this patchy and it's not doing any damage whatsoever to my dinosaur. And again to get rid of that you type it in again. And as you can see my Fomomia is now taking damage. I'll force tame this Fomomia again and we're going to try the fly command just to show you, you can also use that too. When riding on your creature, now type in the word fly and if you aim upwards towards the sky, rather than pressing jump or any other button, you will see we are flying on our Fomomia. So if you want to be a flying piggy on your little Fomomia, this is what you can do. These commands really are for people that just want to muck about and have a bit of fun. Maybe you're creating a little server for yourself. They work exactly the same way on PC as well. I'm using it on Xbox because on PC a lot of these commands are already available. You only have to press one button when you're in creative mode. In creative mode in Xbox though, some of these aren't there. So you can't just press one button. That's why I wanted to show you. And to stop your Fomomia flying, it's exactly the same command as it is for your player. Just type walk. And you'll see it fall to its death. Well, maybe not. Now there's just a couple other little commands I want to show you because I think they're fun or they really help out. So the next one is for experience. Maybe you want to get some of the engrams but you don't want to use the give engrams cheat because you don't unlock everything. Maybe you just need to get up to a certain level really quickly. If you type in add experience, then leave a space and type in exactly how much you want. Now I've just done a really big stupid number here just to highlight and show you exactly what it is. After that you need to leave another space and type in one, leave a space again and then type in zero. It's important you add that separate one and that separate zero. There you go, you can see I've just given myself a bunch of levels, all because I used the add experience, leave a space, type in your number, type in one, leave a space, type in zero. Now I'm just gonna keep pumping everything here just for the fun of it see if we can max out our character and there you go I've gone all the way up to level 80 currently at the moment level 80 is the top level but in Ark Survival Evolved they've done something similar and they raised it all the way up to level 100 and then when you defeated the bosses or completed the game you got an additional extra levels depending on what level of bosses you fought now once you do that though there's no way to take away the experience so bear that in mind if you level up for whatever reason you will not be able to go back down now, frequently in Ark, when they updated it during its life cycle, we would get new creatures, but sometimes these new creatures wouldn't spawn because there was already too many of the old dinosaurs on the map. So during early access, they encouraged you to use a certain command where it would wipe out all the dinosaurs and make them respawn. Now there's a few commands, one of them will get rid of every single dinosaur, including your own, and the other one will only get rid of the wild ones. Type in destroy wild dinos. And as you can see, I've just got rid of every single dinosaur creature in the game. The only ones that are still here are my own. You can go ahead and type in the word kill. This will get rid of any creature really quickly or super quick, even if it's not your dinosaur or not. And there you go, I've just killed my poor Fomomia. If you want to clear out all of your dinosaurs in one hit though, you need to type in destroy tribe dinos. But that command doesn't just work on its own. You need to be close enough to one of your creatures to actually make it work. So go up to one of your creatures that's in your tribe or anyone else's tribe. So maybe there's someone's joined your game when they add the actual multiplayer to it. Aim at your creature and then do the command. And there you go. I've just wiped out every single creature that was in mine or in my tribe. Again, these could be really super useful. Maybe someone's joined your world you didn't want there. Maybe they've gone on a taming spree. You can get rid of any creatures they've tamed. And likewise, when the game keeps updating, like it will do, I'm sure they're going to need some reasons why you might want to respawn some of the newer dinos quicker. Dinosaurs do die out. So if you left it long enough, some of the newer creatures that they may add, or if there's certain issues with dinosaurs, will go back to normal. The dinosaurs obviously take each other out sometimes but sometimes you need to give it a little bit of a helping hand. Now I've shown you how to destroy wild dinosaurs, I've shown you how to destroy your tribe dinosaurs, but maybe you just want to get rid of every single creature in the game. For that one, you need to put destroy all enemies. 
this will get rid of your tamed dinosaurs as well. And there you go, just got rid of all of them. The next one's going to be really useful if the game bugs out or glitches. I've noted this a couple of times when I'm digging or I've been running around, sometimes I get stuck on a rock or inside a creature and I can't move. Type in hurt me, then leave a space and type in a big massive large number. And there you go, you can see it just killed me so I can restart again. This might be the only way that you can get out of certain situations if you're stuck somewhere. Now it will take a good few minutes for the creatures to come back whenever you use them type of commands. So give it a good 10 minutes. So that's pretty much it for the quick guide to commands. There are some more that I'm going to be showing you in a later video. And there are some commands that just don't work that are exactly the same from Arc. Not currently. I'm going to be covering PixArc in a massive way with guides, tutorials, as well as let's plays and let's builds. So go and check out my playlist and make sure you've got notifications turned on. If this video has helped you, absolutely smash that like button for me as well. And I'll see you ratbags for another PixArc video very soon.